Brian Wilson here with Bandit's defenseman Ethan Lund. And uh, first off, Lundy, uh, you've had a, a pretty good start to this exhibition season. Three points in six games against the Oilers, including a couple of goals as well. And it's been really a, a balanced attack uh, as far as I've seen so far. Uh, but how would you describe uh, where you're at and where your game's at uh, so far this season? Yeah, I think it's it's been really fun so far, kind of being able to play this first six games and uh, just getting, getting back on the ice with all the guys. It's really fun. And, like, I'm always trying to work on my game, trying to work hard, be a leader this year, especially this year being my third year. And just kind of I know how I can play and kind of try to push offense a little bit, but be solid defensively the whole time is, is kind of what I'm trying to do. So. You're on a defensive pairing with Corson Kuhlmans. You have some experience together from last season as well. What makes you two such an effective pairing? I think we're both solid. We both make simple decisions. We're really strong with the puck, I think. We trust each other too, which is really nice. And, I mean, he's a great player, so it's not, it's pretty easy to play with a guy like that. So. Now, uh, you've had some experience, uh, international experience as well, as is he. Um, let's, let's go back to the National Junior Championships, however. Uh, obviously awesome to win it but uh, what was that experience like uh, throughout that process and I guess how did that uh, build your confidence moving forward to the next season and also into this year as well yeah so me and Taylor McCarr were there together and uh, we didn't end up playing any of the games we were watching from up top you know practicing with the guys just kind of it's kind of nice it was a different different scenario for us because we could kind of sit back and kind of just see how hard it is to win a championship and still be involved at the same time so it was interesting for sure and i want to bring that leadership and kind of that just knowing of how how you how we can win and what we have to do to win so yeah i guess uh, on that uh, what what is the perspective like when you're when you're looking down at the guys and you're watching you know the practices and things like that rather than being in it uh, what kinds of things do you notice maybe that you wouldn't notice if you were on the ice specifically yeah, I think like watching, you obviously want to you want to hype up your teammates and kind of but you want to be out there at the same time. So it's kind of like personally, it's kind of a battle mentally, but I think it it's a it's a thing like puts a chip on your shoulder and you kind of want to prove prove other people wrong, but at the same time you want to support those guys and you see them on the ice and you kind of see how they can play and why why they're in the lineup over you kind of thing. So you can see maybe an offensive play that another player's been doing or defensively how strong like a guy like Scanlon was in the, in the past, so something like that. Yeah, and I guess you can take what you've learned from that into this season. As, as mentioned, you've had a good start. Now, yeah. it's been a different kind of year, obviously. You had a six-game series with Okotoks, which was uh, pretty exciting. Uh, it was yeah. pretty intense as well. Now we're moving forward to this weekend with Drain Valley, Drumheller coming up as well. Um, as far as the the way the season has gone how has it been as a hockey player just staying prepared and also uh, getting your mind right for again a six game series then a two game series it's a little bit different uh how have you adjusted so far in this exhibition series yeah well our coaches well we have three guys three great coaches this year so it's they've been really good at keeping us kind of intact and kind of like looking forward to the next game but still working hard every single practice so we had pre-scouts for oak tokes we had pre-scouts for all these other teams too so it's kind of nice to just have a change especially this weekend with uh, drayton valley coming to town and then drum heller it's always a good battle with them so it's gonna be fun i'm excited all right well thanks for doing this and good luck this weekend sweet thank you